So have you ever wondered how to work in Premiere and After Effects together? Well today I'm going to show you exactly how it's done and it's through dynamic linking. So dynamic linking allows you to kind of work really easily between the two programs. And I'm going to show you today, so let's actually get started into it. So we currently got a Premiere Pro project file open. So this is just simple, basic, and we have a, just a clip in here. So let's say I grab that clip, I place it into my sequence of Premiere, and this is what we're going to be working with. But let's say I wanted to add an effect to my clip that I can't add in Premiere. So there's an effect that I really want, but you actually have to use After Effects to actually do it. So instead of exporting this clip out and then bringing it into After Effects, editing it, and then putting it back into Premiere, there's a really simple way to do it. And it's called dynamic linking. So dynamic linking works really easily and you right click the clip you want to use, scroll down, replace with After Effects Composition. So click that. Now this should bring up After Effects and you have to create a project file on what this is going to be called. So let's just say this is Bodybuilding After Effects Shop. So save it obviously where you want, I'm just going to save it here for now. And then your clip that was in Premiere has now transferred over to After Effects for you to do all your effects on that you want to do in After Effects. So for example, just an example, I'm just going to add some text. You can also do anything, you can add lightning, you can do any effect you want in After Effects and then transfer it back over to Premiere, but I'm just going to show you an example with text. So. Let's just say I add, I wanted this in my shop, for example. So this is how it's looking. Now to transfer this back over to Premiere, you press File, Save, and that's it. It's legit transferred straight back over to Premiere. So now let's go back. This is Premiere. And your shot that was originally there before, now has what you've done in After Effects in the shot. So that is how easy it is to work between Premiere and After Effects using dynamic linking. Now let's say you actually wanted two clips and you wanted audio as well to go into After Effects. It's the same process. So let's say we bring this clip in, we had a second clip we wanted to bring into After Effects, and we wanted some music to go in. So let's just say that. Bring it down. All you have to do is highlight all of it, right click, replace with After Effects, the exact same as before. It'll now bring up the project file, exact same as before. You name it whatever you want. Let's just call it two clips. It can be called obviously what you want. Save it where your project files go. And now all three are in the project file of After Effects. So we have our audio, we have our clip, which is the car, and we have our bodybuilder. So now you can add any effect to any of these shots. Let's say I wanted, for example, again, text to say hello. And you wanted it to end at the bodybuilder. And then you wanted more text to say Nexodic. And you wanted to start at the car clip. So you have both clips in, you've got the audio behind. You press File, Save, just like before. And it all should come into after, um, back to Premiere. So now we have Hello and Nexotic on our other clip. And that's how dynamic linking works. So if you have any other effects that you actually want to learn or you see something on YouTube that you thought was crazy, chuck it in the descriptions or tag me and I'll be sure to actually make a video on it and how it's actually done. Till then, we'll actually see you in the next one and have a great day. Let's go!